How's it going everybody? It's PM Dre back with another video and in today's video you know what it is every day is arm day day number three so you know what i almost forgot to do this but i made sure i did it this morning right after picking up my mail so i wrote down my measurements on my hydro bill because you know we got to pay it all right so for my arms so for my left side it is 16 and a half inches when it is flexed when it is not flexed is it actually 14 Point five, so two inch difference. And now for my right side, it is 16 and a half inches as well, and 14 and a half not flexed. So I'm like, you know what? My arms are actually the same measurements, like on both sides. I always thought like one arm was bigger than the other, but I think what the case is that one has a higher peak while the other one's a bit more thicker. So that's why the measurements just came out equally. So now what we're going to be doing like we did in the other videos, so we're going to be doing three sets, 12 reps with, you know, 70 pounds. And I also be answering some food tag questions. So you know what? Let's not waste any more time and let's jump into it. Let's go. Hmm. Woo. That's the 12 reps. You remember what we're doing? We're doing a one minute rest. So the next question was, tell me about your worst restaurant experience. All right, so I don't want to say the restaurant was necessarily bad. So I went to a restaurant, I paid like $80. So I'm like, you know what? I'm hoping I can get a good amount of food. So the food comes and I'm like, no, this can't be the main course. This looks like an appetizer. Like it was just literally finger food that looked good. So I'm like, you know what, my belly doesn't know presentation. My belly doesn't care about presentation. My belly cares about being full. My eyes were impressed, like, yeah, cool. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm feeling that. But it won't fill me. I paid $80 for this plate. And I, I'm going to be straight up honest. Like, I was just like, I was a bit sour as along with my stomach. I literally had to be like, yo, I got to eat again right after this. So again, I don't want to blame the restaurant, but I was like, I will never ever go to a restaurant that's going to give me an appetizer and then call it a main course, if you know what I mean. All right, so remember what we do, one minute rest, about to jump into it, let's go. Let's get into the next question. So the next question is, who's the better cook, your mom or your dad? So you know what? Good thing. <laughs> I gotta say, like, you know what? My dad is actually like a really good cook because my dad's been like, from what my dad has told me, he's like, he's been cooking since he was like eight years old and he still does that now. So I can say as far as cooking, again, you know, my, my dad's on a, really really big level and I think that's part of the reasons why like people tell me all the time that I'm a really good cook as well and I can honestly say that I get it from my dad and seeing my dad cook but again like again anytime there's any events that my dad's friends have or my family have again they're always asking him hey can you cook so <laughs> I can honestly say that yeah my dad is as far as his cooking game it is on point now for the next question Oh, what is one of the food that you fail at making? 
Um, you know what? I can honestly say, I'm not gonna say one of the food, I'm gonna say baking. Like, I am terrible when it comes to baking. So, I get, oh, we gotta get one minute, right? Last set, let's get it. Oh man, so now, the next question. Name your least favorite foods. My least favorite foods. Um, you know what, like anything that is really like unhealthy, I don't like. Like there's only like a few amount of foods that I do like that are not the most healthy, but I really like them. But again, it's a very, very short list. So as far as like food overall, like again, I'm not really picky. Like there's not certain things that I like, oh, I'll eat this. Like, like again, like I like, I'll eat chicken, eat beef. Like I eat fish, rice, like all types of vegetables. Like I love vegetables. Same thing for fruits. Like again, there's not, again, maybe there might be some other dishes out there that maybe just do not come to mind that I would not eat. But for the most part, like I'm really not a picky eater. The only thing, oh, almost forgot. So the only thing that I don't eat is like, I don't eat pork. So anything that comes from a pig, I, again, I just never touched. No reasons whatsoever, but in my family, like for example, my dad doesn't eat pork as well, so I'm just not used to it. So again, I just don't touch it. So the next question is, uh, raw or cooked veggies? Well, you know what? Both. Like, so for example, like I could eat broccoli raw. Um, I've tried cauliflower raw. It's okay. It's fine. But um, cooking, like I don't mind that either. Whether it's steaming over the stove, bake, like, like I get, it really doesn't matter to me. But I have tried both and I really don't have a problem with both. But usually most of the time, I usually cook my veggies. All right. So those are the questions that I'm going through for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you know, we gotta make those arm gains. So since we got the measurements, we'll measure up on the weekend and see if there was any progress. So I just wanna say thank you guys. I've been tuning in and been watching the video. It really means a lot. Peace.